The somewhat bizarre yet tragic case of Tiago da Silva contains details that may be disturbing or upsetting to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Here at Dark Case Documentaries, we release at least one new true crime video every week. We hope you choose to join our quickly growing community by subscribing to the channel. Our love and sympathy goes out to all those that knew and loved Tiago. On December the 3rd, 1988, Tiago da Silva was born at the Hospital de Taramanera, Pernambuco. He was a child burglar from Brazil who gained the nickname Menino Aranha, which literally means Spider Boy. This was due to his ability to scale tall buildings, like the famous comic book hero Spider Man, in order to commit burglary or to escape capture. When Tiago was aged just nine, he started his robbery spree in which he scaled a 14 story building. Tiago was a quiet child who didn't speak much. He shook his head and looked the other way when asked questions. Tiago was a nail biter and his father Antonio da Silva claimed that he started thieving following the passing of his mother. During his grief, he occasionally became agitated and flung stones at people passing by. This was a troubled young boy. De Silva enjoyed being in the media and thought of himself as a hero. Police reported his first crime in August of 1997 after he ascended the Tiziana building in Madalena while carrying some cash and cell phones. When Tiago was 10 years old, he looted an officer's home. He was then sent to an organisation set up to help troubled young people, but he managed to flee the same day. He was apprehended once more in Vittorio de Santo after attempting to steal household goods from a justice prosecutor. He was initially detained for three days before being released, only to be detained again that same day. De Silva was referred to as the Mourinho Aranha for the first time by press in 1998. He persisted in his trademark crimes of scaling buildings and breaking into residences. He was arrested along with his younger brother, who was just 10 years old. His younger brother would wait below the buildings rather than climbing them during the robberies. The brothers were carrying $7 and sniffing glue when they were taken into custody. Three hours after the arrest, they managed to flee once more. Tiago, now 11, was detained alongside his older brother, who was 13 at the time, in late December 1998. In another incident, they were attempting to rob a home in January of 1999. Tiago was caught once more and subsequently sent to a juvenile detention centre. He was detained there for 11 months and was later returned to his family for exemplary behaviour. However, this exemplary behaviour did not last. During his final arrest, Judge Louis Carlos said, Some action had to be taken before he appears dead in some wasteland. In 2002, Tiago was 14 years old and was once more leaving a detention centre. But rather than returning home, he started living on the streets and sleeping on sidewalks where he would be fed by locals. He was once more detained as he tried to pry open a car door with a knife in a residential area. With him was an accomplice named Piero, who was of adult age. He was arrested after fleeing and being found in a garage. Tiago was now submitted to a criminal life. He explained, I stopped climbing buildings. I now rob only houses that I usually go into at night when people sleep. I would take my bags to the living room and run away without anyone seeing me. This would be Tiago's final statement to the press. De Silva was brought to a hospital on December the 18th, 2005, with gunshot wounds to his wrist, chest and head. Tiago did not want to have hand surgery because he believed the surgeons would amputate his hand. As Tiago was a proven flight risk, he was under constant surveillance. 
However, one of the security officers watching over Tiago was absent on the night of December the 18th. The remaining security officer was handcuffed to Tiago on the stretcher but left his post before morning. When the security guard returned, Tiago was gone. Tiago was reported missing by the security guard at around half past midnight on Sunday morning. This would prove to be Tiago de Silva's final escape from authorities, his staggering 39th escape in total. Tiago Spider Boy de Silva's body was found at 3 a.m. Police attended the scene at 4.30 a.m. Tiago had been shot 14 times. Street boys from the area identified the body. On December the 20th, 2005, Tiago de Silva was laid to rest. At the funeral, only his father and seven others attended. The perpetrator of this crime was never found. Tiago de Silva's murder case remains unsolved. Comment your thoughts on this case below, subscribe to Dark Case Documentaries, turn notifications on, and like the video to help get more eyes on these cases. Thank you.